How you doing? All right. Praise God this morning. This is uh, Pastor Bird. Uh, just checking in. Checking in with you, Rob. Make sure everything is going good. Um, how we looking? We looking good, Rob? Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We straight? Debbie, can you hear me? Okay. Okay, I'm good. Okay, I'm getting ready to get started. Thanks, brother. All right. Bye-bye. <clears throat> All right, this morning, how you doing? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> Getting all set up here for this Bible class this morning. Eyes, he'll be on at 11 with the word. So I'm going to share some tidbits and some golden nuggets with you this morning. Uh, praise God. We're going to speak about faith this morning. And, um, you know, faith is a, it's a, it's a funny subject, man, because it, it, it literally takes, um, your trust and belief in God for, for it to work. You know, faith is, 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 is a real touchy subject. And a lot of reasons why we don't get what we want or we don't have what we pray for is because, is because our faith is weak. You know, we have to, you have to do, you have to say, do, and believe for faith to work. You know, it's not just, you know, I'm believing this or I'm believing that. No, sometimes it takes you doing some things to make some moves for things to come to pass in your life. So, let's get started today. You know, I'm Pastor Adrian Bird. I'm one of the associate pastors over at Lord and Harvest and I just want to welcome you today and just say, sit down, relax, get you something cold or get you something warm to drink, and let's do this study. Let's do this study today, man. Let's see if we can learn some things and add some things to uh, to our repertoire that we already have learned about uh, God, okay? All right, y'all. The first scripture I want to go to is John 4.24. In John 4.24... Um, Jesus is talking to the Samaritan woman, and he's 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 just letting her know, uh, you know, hey man, you know, you gotta worship God in spirit and in truth. And she didn't have an understanding; she didn't have the slightest uh, understanding of what he was talking about. But he put it to her to where it would make her, it would make her desire. To understand what he was talking about. So let's go there. Let's go over to 4. John 4. Chapter 4. Verse 24. Praise God. Let me, let me say a prayer real quick. Father. As we go into your word today. Let's make it simple. Let's make it easy. Let's make it to where it's understandable God. To where people can, can get this. Um, get what you're trying to say to them. And get what you're trying to. Uh, 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 help them with today Lord faith is not an easy subject but it's not a real hard subject either Lord God just bless us today open up your word to us today Lord God hit us in those places where where we need to be touched that today with your word and allow us to grow and allow us to go on and do bigger and better things for you God because we're not going to be able to do it without faith Lord God we thank you Father we praise all of those out 
that's in in kingdom land watching this this program lord god and is trying to get a better understanding of who you are father bless us uh, and help us in jesus name amen okay john 4 24 now watch this <clears throat> He's talking to the Samaritan woman, and, and, and they're kicking it around a little bit, and he's trying to show her, um, she's trying to show her through the spirit that, you know, um, that what they've been worshiping is not really real, you know, it's not really true, you know, and that he has come personally in her life to show her, hey man, you know, I'm God. You know, I'm 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 bringing I'm bringing forth a dedicated personal word to you today, so that you can understand that God is 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 me and I am Him. And so let's let's go to the scripture, John four twenty four, and watch how he, he puts this to her. We're gonna start, we're gonna it's, the main scripture is four twenty four. Watch this. He tells her. Well, let, let's let's. Let's back up to uh, verse 21. I'm sorry. Let's back up to verse 21. Let's, make, let's draw this out a little bit. Verse 21. Jesus saith unto her, the Samaritan woman, Believe in me, the hour cometh <clears throat> when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet in Jerusalem worship the Father because they thought they were going to the mountain worshiping worshiping God Jesus said ye worship ye know not what we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers must worship the Father in spirit and in truth for the Father seeketh such to worship him so he just dropped a bomb on her you know what I'm saying? He just told her, hey, man, you, you, what y'all worshiping over here? He said, man, that, that's not the real deal. I'm getting ready to show you the real deal. And he told her, he said, those that, he said, true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. So I know that blew her mind. And, and and then we move to, to verse twenty four, and here's the here's where he just he just blows our mind at. He said, "God is a spirit, and those that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth." And see, you you got to understand <laughs> how you gonna worship Him in spirit and in truth without faith. You must have faith. You must understand that. It's only through faith that you can worship in spirit and in truth. Amen. So see, you gotta have you gotta have your faith together. You gotta have yourself together to understand that when God is dealing with you and God is trying to communicate with you and God is trying to show you th some things, He is going to test your faith. Your faith has to be brought from a little mustard seed to whatever. image or whatever type of uh, how big you ever you want it to be you know but it starts out as a mustard seed a little bitty mustard seed and it grows into whatever you want it to grow grow into it could be spiritual gifts it could be a preaching gift it could be a prophetic gift it could be the gift of healing i'm talking about man it's it, your faith is everything without faith you're not you're not going to be able to get anything good from the kingdom. If you know that your faith is weak, work on it. Get in there. It's all kind of scriptures on faith uh, from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Get in there. Study those scriptures. Get you a concordance. Get you a Bible dictionary. Or get you a computer program. And just take your time and go down there and hit each scripture and let the Lord begin to show you and build up your faith. Amen. Okay, let's go over to Hebrews chapter 6, verse 11. Hebrews 6, 
verse 11. Now, Hebrews is powerful, he, especially the 11th chapter. I, it's a lot that I could cover in there, but you look at it on your own. Write the things down, write your scriptures down, study it yourself, because it tells you, it tells you all the miracles and, and, and major uh, things that those that have faith in God did. But we're gonna just we're gonna just hit at about um, we're just gonna hit maybe six. I got a few other scriptures, but uh, we're gonna hit eleven. 11.6. Hebrews 11.6. <clears throat> Hebrews 11.6. My pages are sticking. Okay. Now. Now watch this. Watch this closely. It, I'm going to read, well, yeah, just let me read six. But without faith, it is impossible. It's impossible. Look, just listen to this. It said, without faith, it is impossible to please, to please him. For he that cometh, he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. It is, it, it's impossible to please God without faith. So see, it, 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 before you, before a miracle is going to come, before certain things is going to start working in your life, you have to be at ease that your relationship is, is, is solid with God. You got to know that you know that you know that your relationship is solid and that God is trying to take you somewhere. God is trying to do something with you. God is trying to use you to help somebody else. It's, it's, it's all done by faith. It's not done by flesh. It's done by faith. It's done by believing. It's done by trusting. Okay? Now watch this. It's, let's go over this again. It says, one more time, but without faith, He's saying, but without faith, it is impossible <laughs> to please him. And it's not just pleasing him. It's, it's just making God feel comfortable with y'all's relationship, with, with, with who you are and who he is to you. Because remember, God is trying to change you. God is trying to grow you. God is trying to build you up into what he has what he has planned for your life is all wrapped around what God has planned for you. God has so many beautiful and wonderful things that he would he desires to do through us. But some of us are our self-esteem, some of us the way we grew up, some of us are family members, some of us sin in our lives, you know. This is the thing that's holding us back from being all that God has called us to be and all that God wants to do with us. Everybody is important to the kingdom. Everybody is important to God. It's not one person that's not important to God. Everybody has a call. Everybody has something to do. If, if you want to use you as an apostle, amen, that's great. But guess what? Even if you're not, the, the, listen, Helps, 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 helps. Everybody need people to help them. People that 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 exercise uh, and helps are the greatest. They are the greatest. Not apostle. Yeah, I'm not taking nothing from them or prophets or the pastor or teachers or the evangelists. Everybody has their own job, but. People that bring forth and come forth and help back them and help get things done for them, they are really the greatest. They are because the, the kingdom wouldn't go forth without people that help. Amen. So just understand, you might be 
just learning now or you might be just now coming in to who God wants you to be and understanding better but it's by faith just keep believing if you want to be used by God just keep believing keep praying keep studying keep asking him God has set some things up for you and before you know it you will be right there doing what it is that he wants you to do amen so just trust in him and just have faith believe that he is going to do what he said he's going to do with you. He didn't just save you just to save you. He saved you to save others through you. It's always about somebody else. Amen. But it all begins by faith, people. It all begins by the love of Christ. It all begins by Christ loving you and you loving him and you being obedient. Amen. All right, let's turn to... Uh, uh, well, you know, let, let me hit on this. Let me, let me say something else. It's impossible to please him, but he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. See, he's a rewarder of them that constantly, constantly seek God for answers. Seek God for direction. Seek God for understanding. See, the reward is in that. The reward is in your understanding. The reward is where your relationship is going to go. The reward is in the power. The reward is in the joy. The reward of you diligently seeking him is, man, is powerful. Where it, it can be times that things are happening and you're supposed to be sad, but the spirit won't even let you. The spirit will begin to show you good things that came out of whatever happened, whatever it was that you went through. Sometimes... Sometimes bad things happen to good people. Sometimes it's for, it's for them to change. It's for them to grow. It's for them to get bigger and stronger. Sometimes it's for your faith to get stronger. Amen? It's, it's, it's all wrapped around us doing better and being stronger and being more confident in Christ. Amen? Amen. So let's go to James chapter 2 verse 26 James chapter 2 verse 26 now we could go there's so many faith scriptures in here and there's so much that I could say and there's so much I could share with you about it but I just want to hit on these things I just want to give you some things to consider because you know if, if your faith is weak, you have a weak relationship with God. It's all done through faith in Him. And as you get stronger, God will start to manifest Himself to you. You will see God coming to you. You will see God in things that happen around you. You will, you will, you will see God in things that you say. Amen? And, and you will see yourself by faith, getting stronger, getting better. Things will start coming more easier in the Word. But you must study. You must pray. You must meditate. Let me just let me just say it again. You must study and pray and meditate to get your faith stronger. Because, man, I, I remember when I was a babe. Let me, let me tell you something. You know, when I was a babe, man, I... I, I all I did was study. I knew I was wrong. I knew I, I knew I had been in sin. I knew I had hurt people. You know, and this, the, the Spirit just led me to the Word. It kept leading me to the Word and leading me to the Word and leading me to the Word. And He showed me so many er areas in my life that I, 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 I had errors in. So many places that that I just needed to improve and that he wanted to improve in me. He wanted to rid me of that stuff. And I, I had to believe, man, I was so broke down. I was just so at the end of my rope, man, because nothing was working. Have you ever been there where things just didn't work and it just seemed like, man, God didn't care or God wasn't there? Man, that's the... <laughs> Man, that place was terrible for me. But I found out that it was God getting me to a place to where I was confessing my sins. 
I was giving all that stuff up. I was letting go of the old bird. And I was allowing God by faith to bring forth this new bird. You know, I never thought that God would want to use me to be a pastor. He wanted to use me as an elder. Man, God is man is powerful. It's powerful. Some days I still don't believe it. I, I still don't believe it. But it's by faith. I look back and I'm like, man, God, you brought me from being this bad criminal guy on the street, man. That I didn't know. I, I didn't I didn't know any better. I thought it was making it. I thought it was, I'm going to do what I got to do to get what I want. You know, the most crazy cliches and hanging around those friends that, that didn't mean any good. And once God got a hold of me, he showed me that through faith, man, it's just believing in him that he's got a whole nother life. He has no whole nother uh, uh, path that he wants you to go down. And when I once I got a hold of this, that he was he was wanted me to be a pastor, man, I was like, wow, God, okay, let me see. So just like it's things that you all have, and I know it's a lot of you out there this morning that's wondering what 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 God's gonna do with you, how He's gonna use you. It's so much He can do to use you, but you gotta get your faith together. You gotta believe. You gotta just believe that God is, is it, He wants you and desires you. And once you believe and trust in that, He'll start to show you just through your everyday walks, just through ministering to somebody maybe at the grocery store, or just through helping somebody at church that you know is is that the Spirit shows you is down. You know they down at this time, and they could have it could be a, a divorce, it could be. They lost a job. It could be a number of things. Help them. Helping them. Helping them. You, you, you're not. You, when God unctions you to do something for somebody, you're helping him. When you help that person, you're helping him. But not only that, you're helping yourself. Amen. You're helping yourself. Because every time you, you move by faith, and you go and you bless a person for God, God is, God is, he's got you on his mind. He's thinking about you, you know, and that right there is powerful, amen, because you know he's going to, he's going to reward you. He's going to bring that thing back to you, amen. So just trust in him. Just, just trust. Faith. Faith, faith. Amen. Let's go to the next scripture. <clears throat> oh, we we got it. Let me see. Let's hear James. Let's see. Two twenty six. Okay. All right. <clears throat> For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. You, you, it's got to be you. You can't have one without the other. Faith, you, faith takes showing forth something. It, it, it's, it's action. It's action. You know, it's, it's, it takes believing. It takes trusting. It takes standing in the middle of the storm and knowing that God's going to bring you out. It takes believing and trusting that though your bill may, may get cut off, he's going to bless you with money to get it back on. Though, though you lost this job, God is going to give you another job. You know, you, you just got to trust in him. Because sometimes, people, it takes us going through things for God, for you to be built up, for your faith to be built up in him till he's going to do it. 
It's, man, it's powerful when you know and when you can trust in God and you know that God is going to come through for you. Amen? It's, it is. Man, this, boy, I tell you, whoa, this season, this last, this last season, man, man, you talking about last year? It was, it was tough. It was tough because by faith I had to walk. Man, I'm here I am used to. I'm used to making decent, decent amount of money. I'm not bragging or nothing, but I'm used to making decent, decent money, bringing home a decent check, paying my bills and taking care of my children. You know, paying my tithes, helping out somebody, giving somebody, because I love to give. I'm used to me as an example. Last year, I, man, it just was tough because I was working a job that all, I, I'm, the, all the money I made was just enough to pay my bills. It was tough, but God brought me through. I knew God was going to bring me through. I knew it, but it took it took a while for God to get certain people in certain places so that he could open up the doors that he wanted to open up for me. So by faith, man, I had to just go through to where I would get my check and I would pay my bills and I would have, you know, just enough to give something on my tithes. You know, buy some food and try to pay some bills. You know, but I did it by faith because I, I had no other choice. I had to trust God. I had to believe in God. And he did it and he brought me out of it. You know, and then I got out of it and I was working a good job and then turned around and now the COVID, now the COVID-19 is here. You see what I'm saying? And so God, he... You got to trust him. You got to believe in him. You got to have faith that he is going to always bring you out from one situation, from another situation, from faith to faith. You just got to believe that God will do it. Amen. Watch this. You can't have faith without works. See, because Faith and works that they work together. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta use faith and works together. If things ain't happening the way you want them to happen in your life, you gotta just keep walking. Works is keep walking. Works is keep doing. Works is keep believing. Works is keep praying. Works is keep trusting. Works is keep going. That's what God is saying to you today. Just keep going. He's not going to let you fall. He's not going to let you be. He's not going to let you hit the ground. He's not going to let you fall flat on your face. You believe and you trust in him. See, and that is is, is greater to him than anything. Because remember he said in the scripture that we opened up with, without faith it is impossible to please him. You have to believe in God. I don't care how bad it gets. Remember when Peter and Silas or one of them, Paul and Silas was in jail. They got thrown in jail. And, and no, it was Peter. And they were in jail. And the angel came. And they just started just started singing and praising God. And the next thing you know was an earthquake. <laughs> it was an earthquake and the, the gates just opened up. And they walked out and went on back to Jerusalem and started hanging out with the rest of the, the believers. Amen. God delivered them through their faith. They got thrown in prison and they were just praising and praising God and singing songs and having a good time. And amen, boom, earthquake. So I want to say to you, things happen when, it's, when you're down, when it's rough for you, when rough times come. That's only to help build your faith. That's only to help assure you that God is God and he is going to do what he said he's going to do. Follow the scriptures. Get in on those scriptures. Pray those scriptures. Study those scriptures. Quote those scriptures back to him. And in faith, God, God will bring you out. Just trust in him. Amen? 
Okay. <clears throat> Let's move on. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Amen. Let's turn to Romans chapter 10, verse 17. <sighs> ah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, watch this. Seventeen. Romans ten seventeen says. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. See, it's <laughs> faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. Sometimes the faith is going to come by you trusting and believing in God. And then it comes to pass in your favor. You trust in God for something. You believe in God for that family member. I know everybody can, everybody can identify with this. You believe in God for that family member. And then it comes to pass. You know, or they get saved. Or they get healed. Or they get blessed some kind of way. And you know only it could have been God. Amen. You see what I'm saying? And so you got to understand that faith, it comes by hearing, it comes by going through, it comes by dealing with things, it comes by, it comes by experience with God. Amen. <clears throat> it's, it's not, it's not faith in what is heard though. I want you to understand, it's not just faith in what is heard, but it's faith that comes about by what is heard. It's what happens after it's heard. That's hearing the word of God. See, because, yeah, our faith is built up through what our brothers and sisters in Christ before us went through. Yes, that builds it too, but it also comes by, by what is heard in our spirits, in our spirit, our spirit man, will give us that confidence that God is with us, that that word is right, that what he said and what he's doing in our life is going to bring about something greater later. See, that, that's what it's about. It's about God bringing forth what he desires for us later. A greater anointing to be a great dad, to be a good mother, to just be a good saint, to be a good brother and sister in Christ. See, it, it's, it's not all about material things. It's all about you being happy. You being one with God. And God being one with you. And you trusting in him. You know, I know material things, they bring, a, they bring forth a degree of happiness. But it's nothing like being joyful that God is in your life and God is working out 
what he plans for you. It's just about us giving in and giving ourselves over to the Spirit, to the Holy Spirit, and letting him work in us those things that God wants to bring forth. Because it's the Holy Spirit show now. You know, God created, Jesus died for our sins, and now the Holy Spirit is working overtime to get you to the place, to get your faith up, to get you ready for what he has for you. Yeah, it's sometimes it's, it's going to be some persecution. Yep, it's going to be some persecution. It's going to be some trials and tribulation. But if your faith is truly strong, it'll take you through them. It'll take you through everything that God allows you to go through to bring you up, to grow you up, to make you stronger. Amen? Because sometimes, man, it, 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 the, the joyful things are great. But it's not, it's not, you don't always grow through the joyful things. But you grow through trials and you grow through tribulations and you grow through those things that are hard. You remember those things and you learn from those things and you change from those things. And that's how God does it. That's how he builds us. By us learning him and by us growing from our mistakes. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? I want you to just grabs that by us growing from our mistakes. And we, we just have to learn and we have to grow to the point to where we let God just be God. Let the Holy Spirit take over our lives and use us to the point to where we can truly, truly bring happiness to God. That we can, so we can bring uh, joy to God and we can bring joy to others. Amen. All right. Now let me hit on a, just a few faith scriptures that <clears throat> that I want to hit on. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 11. I'm going to wrapping it up now. See it's all, it's all kind of faith through here, through, these, through this Bible, man. But these guys that I'm getting ready to talk about, I'm just going to talk about a few of them because, man, they couldn't have got it done without faith. Amen? Hebrews chapter 11. Watch this. It says, now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. It's, let me put it to you like this. I wrote something down over here. And it says, faith is the reality of what we hope for. It becomes so tangible that now you possess it. Let me read it again for you. Faith is the reality of what we hope for. It becomes tangible. It, be, it, 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 it becomes so tangible that now we possess it. People, it's the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And, and, and some of our brothers and sisters, that's how they... That's how they got the favor of God, was through faith. <laughs> it's crazy. It was through their faith that God said, wait a minute, that's my man. That's my man. Watch, watch what it says. Verse 2. For by it the elders obtained a good report. <laughs> a good report. That, the, the, the elders obtain favor the elders obtain blessings watch this in three through the faith we understand that the the worlds were framed by the word of god so that things 
which are seen were, were not made of things which do appear. Listen to this. By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that <clears throat> he obtained witness Man, these glasses. I gotta get some new glasses, people. That he attained witness. Okay, let me start off before. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he he was righteous. God testifying of his of his gifts. By it, it is he. Being dead, yet speaking. Watch this five. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Amen. See, it's, it's without faith, people. You're not gonna, you're not gonna really truly be able to get the best of what God has for you. It's it's through, it's through that belief, that strong conviction, that strong belief in God that that He that He does things for you, that He opens up doors for you. That that. He builds your faith. That he comes through for you when you least expect it. This time well, that we're in, you can't tell me we don't need faith today. You know, it's crazy what we're going through. It's crazy what we're, what we're experiencing. But people, don't give up. Don't start wavering. Don't start believing in yourself. I understand. I know. Because I'm seeking God about what is going on and what is happening. And he ain't really saying too much to me. But I know that as this thing goes to an end, I know, I know God is going to speak to me. So just trust that Jesus is, 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 is working his work that the way he wants to the Holy Spirit is working things out for us you know he works things out he works the good of those who trust and believe in him he works he works things out and makes it all work out for the good or for those that love him amen we have to just really truly believe that regardless of how bad it gets, regardless of how tough it gets, that God is working some things out. Because I know it's hard being in the house a whole month, staying in the house, not going nowhere, not communicating really with nobody besides through computer, you know, or maybe over the phone. You know, it's it's tough. And 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 just know that that God has got something. For us, he's got a word. He's got a word for us, and he is going to bring us out. So I'm telling you right now, use your faith. Use your faith. Trust, if you just got faith as a, as a mustard seed, God said, <laughs> you can impress him. All you need is, is, is faith of a mustard seed to impress God. Amen. To get for God to move on your behalf. So just trust. Just know that God is with you. Just begin to study. Begin to work on your faith. Begin to work on believing Him deeper and heavier and, 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 and watching the things that He desires to do. If you don't know your gifts, if you don't know your gifts, God has shown to you. If you don't know, uh, if you need a, a deeper 
measurement of the spirit in your life, God will supply that for you. If you need a stronger relationship with your spouse, your husband or wife, God will give you that. If you need a the spirit to show you where you can get in and where you can fit in that to, to do something for Christ, he'll show you that. It's always something greater. It's always something better. It's always something more deeper that God wants to show you and that God wants to take you. It's, it's places that he wants to take you. So just trust in him and have faith in him. As I leave out today, I just want to tell you, don't let the enemy start you to doubt it. Trust in the Lord and he will deliver you. He will bring you out of whatever the situation is. Have faith and give him the room to move, and he'll move in your life. In the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you. I really thank you for, for this message today, Lord. I thank you for helping me to build up people in their faith, to, to, to show them the scriptures, and to give them a little better understanding of how you move and how you work. Lord God, Keep us, watch us, watch over us, and be with the rest of our brothers and sisters in Christ all over, Lord God. We pray that this COVID-19 will end soon, Lord God, and that we will be standing victoriously in the name of Jesus when it is done, when you deliver us, Lord God. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's remember, eyes Pastor Isaac will be coming up at 11 for the uh, service. And we just ask and pray that you all stay and attend and check out what the Spirit is saying through Pastor. I appreciate you. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen.